Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. I masturbated over a co-worker and I feel so ashamed and guilty. I'm a 22-year-old female and the title pretty much says what happened. I was in the shower and to sum up I started masturbating but instead of doing it over my boyfriend who I should have thought about I thought about a co-worker, female, I have no idea why because my boyfriend is an attractive male I love him so much he's amazing and I feel terribly ashamed and so guilty in crying writing this. I was beginning to do it and she just popped into my head and I went with it and I got out and seen my boyfriend and just cried he asked what was wrong and I just said I felt bad about our last petty argument. He's honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me and I feel disgusted I betrayed him we've been together for years and just for some info I do not think about this co-worker in a way I want to be with her when I see her also I have never cheated. I really need some advice I'm honestly thinking about suicide because I can't deal with the shame and guilt. Sometimes, when he jacks it, he's thinking of other girls. There, I said it. It's normal. Macron backslash underscore backslash underscore slash Macron. It's natural. You shouldn't feel bad for this. If you don't cheat then you have done nothing wrong. Go love your boyfriend with all your heart and masturbate to whatever or whoever gets you off as well. Hey. It's okay. You've not done anything wrong. You've got exceptionally strong values surrounding commitment and that's a boat a day I fucked up a thing to have. I assure you, we've all done it. You'd be hard pushed to find someone who hasn't. Sometimes our minds wander places we didn't expect them to, that's just how they work. You're going to be okay, it's going to be okay. If you feel up to it, talk to your boyfriend about it and get it off your chest. Talking will make the world of difference. You're strong and committed. You're going to be okay. I agree about everything except she should not tell her BF. Nobody wants to hear about who else their partner masturbates to. He probably assumes that she masturbates to porn or other people. But if she tells him and then he meets that co-worker, that's all he's ever going to think of. I'm really sorry to hear that something that is so normal for most people causes you such anguish. What happened is a normal human experience. And in most people it doesn't cause these feelings of shame and guilt. You can love your boyfriend with all your heart and mind, and still fantasize about other men or women when you masturbate. It's not cheating, and it's not something you should feel ashamed of. Just means that your brain went there under the endorphin load of masturbation. Before you consider a solution as final as suicide, Please consider talking to a professional therapist about this. They can help you figure out why you feel the way you do, and they can help you understand where the guilt is coming from, and they can help you deal with situations like this in a healthier way. Fantasies about other people are perfectly normal and natural. You did nothing wrong at all. My boyfriend's anime hobby makes me feel insecure. I've been dating my boyfriend for 5 months and for the last 3-ish months I've discovered his love for anime. At first I was totally fine with it because he told me he mainly watched it for the really cool fights. But after a while I started noticing his love for anime waifus. I guess you could say I'm jealous because I feel like he gives drawings more attention than me. His whole phone is dedicated to anime waifus, while I have my lock screen of him he has a live photo of a scandalous anime girl. And stickers of lewd anime girls on his phone case, laptop, and water bottle. I've already mentioned that it makes me a bit uncomfortable but he hasn't tried to change. It just makes me feel really insecure like I know they are computer generated so they are literally the perfect girl. I need advice on what to do tilde. TBH I don't think he's gonna change for anyone, you should just find a guy who's not obsessed with animated girls. It makes me a little uncomfortable that he hasn't tried to change. Do you not see the problem in that sentence? Don't date someone that you want to change, date someone that you like. You can't take a person and make them into what you want. I too would be uncomfortable, 
but not because I have my screensaver as my boyfriend and he has it if his art, but because I wouldn't be super comfortable with my boyfriend sexualizing something else or obsessing over it in the ways you describe. He can do all the art he wants. He can't spend all his time drowning his brain in sex hormones because that causes a lot of physiological problems over time. Also, I don't find it attractive, so I wouldn't date that. Your boyfriend not having you as his screensaver isn't a big deal. That's normal. Your boyfriend possibly over-sexualizing his thoughts is a problem. Your problem is a you problem. You're going to find a way to be insecure no matter where you are. Don't put that on him. He doesn't sound like someone who is complimentary to you. Don't go into a relationship and tell someone to change for you especially after three months move on at that point isn't even a serious relationship yet don't waste yours or his time that would be a no for me personally you're competing with cartoons i think you really have to realize that you can do things with him that an anime cannot like go out in public she has to realize what about him? Anime, hentai addiction is the same as a porn addiction. If putting nude stickers of Sasha Grey on your laptop is creepy and disrespectful to a relationship, so is this. Her feelings are valid. It's fine if he wants to be like that, and she shouldn't try to change him. But it is perfectly okay to not want to date someone like him. So from the comments, the guy is only 17, I mean this would be a real creep factor if the guy was in his mid 20s plus, but he's a teenager, if you find it too immature for your tastes, pushing him to grow up before he's ready isn't gonna end well, let him enjoy his hobby, if you find him too unhealthily obsessed with it and he refuses to listen, that's his prerogative and you need to think to yourself if this is a deal breaker or not, if he's 17, I don't see anything wrong with his behavior, however, ops jealousy of a cartoon is worrying. My, 44F, husband, 40M, is upset I cloned a dildo instead of his um. Willy, throw RA because I don't want to be identified. I am not sure what to do about this situation. I am at a loss and I obviously do not feel comfortable asking friends or family so. My husband and I had a dead bedroom for a couple of years. At first I was sure he was cheating on me with a co-worker, but he assured me he was not. It was a new job in a field he had just gotten his degree in, and he was just under a tremendous amount of stress to adjust to it and learn the ropes. I understood, I was supportive, I waited it out, but I felt lonelier and lonelier, too. During this time, he also started exercising and bodybuilding, got in shape, lost some weight, got a whole new wardrobe that fit completely different from anything else he had ever worn, like, everything was skinny jeans, form-fitting suits, etc., new socks and underwear too. Even a different type of underwear than he had ever worn. It was frustrating to see him make this change and want him, and not be intimate with him very often. Intimacy was basically restricted to the anniversary and birthdays, but it was completely void of emotional connection. We finally had a long discussion, and agreed to work on it after he had been on the job for a couple of years, and he started to feel better about himself due to his transformation. For Valentine's Day in 2018, as part of this working on it agreement, he gave me a gift certificate for $250 to an online adult website. We shopped together and talked about things both of us would like, and I picked out several things. One of the things we got was a cloner willy kit. I wanted to make a clone of him to sort of have whenever I wanted him, but he was unavailable. He thought it sounded hilarious and fun, so he seemed enthusiastic about it. He seemed to love the idea of a clone of his dick. The toys absolutely helped the dead bedroom. He was excited to hear if I used something, and when I had, he was turned on and we would have sex. He loved seeing me use them, too, as he found it a significant turn on. Before long, we were having sex regularly, about once every two weeks. But the one thing we never did was use the clone the willy kit. My sex drive took a leap forward last year, too. I want it every single day, but he still does not want sex every day. We now have sex up to two times per week which is honestly great, and I am satisfied with that, but in the meantime I enjoy using the toys, too. He seems to have no problem with that, 
and I enjoy it so it seems like a win-win. Well, there is an old dildo I have had since I was 19, and it has a very particular shape, it's not really dick shaped. It started to split, and it is really my go-to for a good quick orgasm. After shopping around, I could find nothing like it anywhere. So, I figured, it has been over a year and a half, and we have never used that kit. So, I cloned my favorite dildo so I would have an exact replica of it. Well, my husband saw the new toy and asked about it. I told him what I did and he lost it. It was so unexpected I just sat there with my mouth open, saying barely anything because I was shocked he was upset about that. He told me I clearly didn't want him, and that my toys must be more important. He said we agreed to do that together and he was excited about it and that I had betrayed him by using the kit to clone my dildo. I assured him I would always prefer him, the real thing, and then it escalated into him accusing me of saying he doesn't have sex with me enough, and that there must be something wrong with me to want sex daily. Told him we could get another one, and he got angrier and stormed out of the room. He has slept on the couch for two nights now, and won't talk to me. I honestly thought maybe he was just faking excitement about the kit when I got it, otherwise why would he have not initiated us making the clone in almost two years? I also thought maybe it seemed too needy of me to want a replica of him to use. I don't know. How can I make this right? I don't understand why he is so upset about this when we can always get another kit, and I just wanted a replica of my old trusty toy before throwing out the old one. Any ideas or thought on this? Yeah. I'd be disappointed if me and my partner planned to clone my willy. But then she goes on to clone something else. Or looking at it from a materialistic puff when you say you can just buy another kit. He had an emotional attachment to the kit and wanted to experience the whole process with you. It's not as simple as you can just buy another kit. It's about keeping promises. You could have given him a heads up saying we haven't used it and that you'll use it on something else instead and clone his willy with another kit later when he gets time. That's not even a difficult thing to do. I understand your puff but sorry to say you're the one at fault here. Giving him a heads up would have not made him mad emo. The lack of communication just made his insecurities significant and he said things he shouldn't have. Both of you need to apologize to each other. You, for not doing something as it was planned to be and him for saying things he shouldn't have due to his insecurities. It sounds like you two have poor communication. It should have occurred to you to at least tell him what you were doing with it before you acted. He also clearly has a lot on his mind he's not talking about. You two aren't talking enough. Hey honey, I decided to clone a dildo instead of your penis because I like the dildo better. And you wanna know why he's upset? Boo, two whole years. He wasn't that enthusiastic about the kit.